Donald Trump's packing of the Supreme Court, whose three members he appointed to create a reliable conservative majority, has been hailed by the right as his greatest achievement. The Wall Street Journal editorial page noted that the most important possibility of a second Trump term would be for him to appoint federal judges in his pattern. But Trump's candidacy for this second term now poses an existential threat to the legitimacy of the court's conservative majority. The Colorado High Court's decision earlier this week to disqualify Trump from the state ballot strikes more than Trump's eligibility. It cuts to core ideological doctrines of originalism and textualism that underpin entire jurisprudence conservative majority. Originalism claims original intent of the nation's founders as divine and interprets constitution. Along those lines, using cherry-picked, false disbelieving history, originalism has been the naive excuse to overturn Roe, repeal common sense gun regulations and environmental regulation, thwart consumer protections, and override voting civil rights. Originalism, as part of game plan Trump's court whisperer describes as Federalist Society's Leonard Leo, is a new contest patched together, capturing courts to set right agenda for future generations beyond threat of negative political tides. Textualism is sister doctrine originalism providing textual anchors divorced from social and legislative context of constitution, as in biblical fundamentalism, to undermine inversion rights. He argues that to interpret a statute, a judge may examine the literal meaning of its text, but nothing more. It works hand in hand with authenticity to exclude unfavorable parts of the historical record from judicial consideration. But now this politicized jurisprudence has turned its inventors on. If there ever was a legal decision of ironclad constitutional reasoning defensible on original and textual grounds, it is Anderson v. Griswold, the decision handed down by the Colorado Supreme Court last week. The resolution argues that Trump was engaged in insurrection on January 6, 2021 and was therefore barred from running for president under the third section of 14th Amendment. The riddle of the Supreme Court is that it can save Trump only by shredding originalism and textualism. Trump's appeal to the Supreme Court creates a crisis for the entire conservative methodology. If court denies certification, declines to rule on case, or upholds Colorado ruling, Trump would face disqualification lawsuits in states across country, throwing election into chaos. The conservative court's Republican sponsors were alarmed and outraged. The Wall Street Journal, the literal mouthpiece of justices Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, is loudly chiding the Colorado folly. The court's conundrum is that it can only save Trump by shattering originalism and textualism. A more original and textualist case cannot be made than this. However, this time the solidity of the case is.